Hello, and welcome to Knit All the Yarn podcast. My name is Lisa, and I live in Michigan with my husband and my two girls. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry at 72 Stitches. And this is episode 96. Got my coffee. It's a crappy Sunday. Today is Sunday, April 11th, 2021. And I have caramel creamer in here today. I saw, I, this has been out for a while, but um, I saw Cinnamon Toast Crunch coffee creamer. I was kind of tempted to try that. I find it odd that they're using kids' cereals for adult coffee creamers. But I do like cinnamon in my coffee, so I don't know. Have you guys tried that? Do you like it? I think the It's Coffee Mate brand, which is the brand that I like. Alright, anyway, this is a podcast, not about coffee. It is about knitting, crocheting, sometimes cross-stitch, whatever crafty thing I'm up to. If you are new, welcome, and if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. You can find all the show notes right down there. I'll have links to where you can find me. I am most active on Instagram. Um, yeah, links to what I'm reading. Well, I guess they're not links. Links to bag shops, yarn shops, patterns, all that good stuff. And I will also have, at the very bottom of the show notes, I will have what I'm reading and watching. So you can look them up. Because a lot of times I can't pronounce the authors. So... That's that. So that way you can copy and paste if you would like. <laughs> yes, okay, I think that's all my spiel. I have one finished object and five whips and some stash. We'll talk about stash later. Not that much. It's just a little. All right. Are we ready for finished objects? Or the one and only finished object. I finished my Desert Vista Dye Work Socks. This is the Chocolate Zombody Factory. I love that like little pop of rainbow stripe. So these are my Desert Vista Dye Work Socks for April. I do her knit along that's in her Ravelry group where you just knit a pair of socks with her yarn. And you have to do uh, all of her yarn. So you can't use contrasting heels and toes unless it's her yarn. So, yep. These are for me. Uh, let's see. 64 stitches, afterthought heel, um, 12 rows of 2x2 two two rib. I use a Chowgu US 1.5, which is a 2.5 millimeter. I always get those mixed up. <laughs> and if you hear me say 2.25, 2 um, I mean 2.5. That's what I use for all of my socks. And I knit them cuff down. And that is all the finished objects. I feel like I should have more, but I don't. But it's okay. It's okay. Oops, sorry. I hit my box. All right, whip number one in three by the seas designs on Etsy. I need to finish this. This sock has been on the needles way too long. This is like the third week. I'm going to focus on finishing these this week. This is Knit Picks Felici in the Cupcake Karaoke colorway. I bought this in summer 2020. And I finished a sock. I think last time I showed it I was here-ish. Here, here, or here, somewhere in the blue. And 
and all these markers are counting my rows. 12, nope, 10 rows per marker. These are tube socks for my youngest. So this one is completely done. I do not put a heel in them. Um, I do 64 stitches, 12 rows of 2 by 2 rib, and then I knit 120 rows, and I do the toe. And my kids are 8 and 10. My oldest, her foot is getting really close to mine. So when that happens, she can have some of my old socks, and I can knit myself more socks. that's how that works right all right and the second sock is cast on I had um, the cuff I did both cuffs on the same day when I started these so I knit about is it 10, about 14 rows I do mine magic loop cuff down chow goose red lace 2.5 millimeters which is a US one and I do 32 inch cord because I do them one at a time. If I do them two at a time, which hasn't happened since like Christmas, I like to do a 40 inch cord. But yeah, this is what I got. That's it. I want to finish these this week. I really just want to knit all the shorty socks and I think this is why I'm having a hard time finishing these. I want to knit shorty socks. All right, another sip of coffee. All right, this is my Scrappy Sunday project. This is Knit for Brains. My Mario bag. So let's see, pretty sure last Sunday, I don't know if I finished this Sunday or Monday, I don't remember. Here I was last week, so I did pretty much all of this on Sunday. I don't know if I did the toe on Monday, I don't think I did. So this is my little shorty scrappy sock. These are Hue Loco Minis. I don't think I used... Yeah, I used them all once. Yeah, because here's the... There's 10. So from the screen to here is all the minis. And the Fall Palette 2020. The heels, toes, and cuffs are going to be Lolo Did It, Coal Miner's Daughter. I do five rows per color. I like that better than the ten rows. Though I have more ends to weave in, but it is a shorty sock. Yeah, these are counting my rows. Ten rows per marker. These white ones down here is where I'm going to put my heel. It's always fun to cast on a sock and like do... I think I did four rows. Yeah. I did. I did this first stripe. I'm like, I'm at the heel! <laughs> It's magical. So I have one sock done. And I cast on, I cheated a little and I cast the sock on yesterday. So I cast this on and I did the first color. I need to do another row of the next color and then I'll put my heel markers in there. But yeah. And for these, I did uh, 15 rounds of 2x2 two two rib. So here they are. Same needles, Chow Goose Red Lace, 2.5 millimeter. Um, 32 inch cord, 64 stitches. Scrappy socks. I would love to finish this today. But I, gotta fin I have to finish one thing today. I'll show you that. That's one of my last whips. I am so, like, not really irritated with myself, but just that I came so close to finishing it, but I didn't. 
we'll show it later. Then you'll see what I mean. Like, really, Lisa? <laughs> I was just too tired last night. I couldn't do it. So those are my scrappy socks. My scrappy shorty socks. All right, whip number three. This is a new whip. And my Harry Potter bag. This is by Lila Styles. I think that's it. That's how you spell it. Oh, I just want the Harry. And this pink umbrella. Voldemort. Luna. I like how Harry's head is chopped off here. But his body is up here. <laughs> and Dumbledore. I think it's the same on this side. No, it's Ron. Is Ron on that side? Yes, he is. Oh, no, whatever. Anyway, I love this bag. All right. New whips. You have not seen this. I have had this yarn for a really, really long time. I don't think she dyes it anymore. But I don't know how to show the tag here. Does it even say her name on here? It's mustache yarns. Uh, she had a series where she did uh, dyed yarn from books, and this is the ba -ba -ba -ba, what is this? The boy who lived. Eight uneven stripes. This is inspired by Harry Potter series and based on the Molly, nope, the Ollie Moss book cover colors. Ollie Moss, I said Molly. <laughs> so yeah, I had this, um, I've had it for a really long time and I split it with a friend, with Amy from Happy Little Yarn. We each traded 50 grams of yarn and I've had this for a while I think we traded it like last year and I'm like I don't know what I'm gonna do with 50 grams <gasps> shorty socks so that's what I'm doing there's the cake so since I'm doing I'm experimenting this time shorty socks 50 gram skein I'm just gonna do a contrasting um, Cuff, nope. Contrasting toe and heel and see how much I have left because my other pair of shorty socks that I did that I showed was it last week? Sorry, my kids are loud. The night owl fiber socks. Pretty sure I had those last time. Anyway, those were 43 grams. And that was for both socks. So I decided to see if I could do it without a contrasting cuff. So this is what I got so far. And since I'm doing that, they're not gonna match, but I'm okay with that. They're gonna go in the same sequence order. Since I only have 50 grams, I can't really, I don't wanna play yarn chicken. I don't know, we'll wait and see, maybe it'll end the same color that it started with. Who knows what's gonna happen. So uh, yep yeah, I have my heel placement same thing 64 stitches chow goo needles red lace 2.5 millimeters uh, 32 inch cord and that's all I got. I cast these on on Friday. Pretty sure it was Friday. Excuse me. So yeah this is what I got. This is the cake. And this is the contrasting toes and... <sighs> Sorry, my kids are loud. My husband went out this morning, so there's no one to yell at them. <laughs> so they might be louder than usual today. Um, this is Lolo Did It, Coal Miner's Daughter. And that's going to be the... Toes and cuffs. 
And while I'm working on these, I'm reading the, listening to the Harry Potter book. But since these are shorties, I will probably have them done before I finish the book. That's okay. All right, another sip of coffee. Coffee, coffee. Yes, I need more coffee. All right, this is also a new whip. Whip number four. This is Freckled Whimsy. Um, she doesn't make bags anymore, but I'm going to link her shop anyway because she has nice yarn. All right, this was... I casted this on a whim. I mentioned in my last episode that I have... This is all my Knit Picks Fluchy. And I want to do shorty socks with one ball, but I have two balls of each color. So I'm like, what am I supposed to do with the second ball? And somebody, a viewer of the podcast, I think her name is Lisa, which is weird. <laughs> she mentioned a uh, cowl. So this is a Nitpix Felici Aquarium. I bought this in fall 2020. Nice. So I was going through my needles and I'm like, oh, right, I have a US-4. It was a bamboo, clover bamboo, and I started it and I'm like, I can't, I don't like this. For some reason, with sock yarn, I don't like wood needles. Sock yarn, I like metal needles. Like DK or worsted, I like wooden needles. I don't know, I'm just weird like that. But anyway, this, so it started on bamboos and then I was looking through my needles I was going to go buy another pair and I had Chow Goo's US Force. I just wasn't digging in my stash of needles far enough so I switched them at some point. This is the Sock Yarn Cowl by Noble Knits. I will, you have to, um, there's a link, a link down below to the pattern. You have to sign up for her newsletter. I think that's what you call it, newsletter. But anyway, it, it's free. It's a free pattern. It's free to sign up. So you have to sign up to get the pattern. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> oh, I love this. So this is a cowl. It looks very tiny. But it's still... Yeah, it's bunched up on there. So since it's a free pattern, I will see if I can remember what the dimensions were, <laughs> or all that stuff. I'm using Chowgu, did I say US4? Where is it? There it is, yep. Four, which is a 3.5 millimeter, 16 inch um, needle. I cast on 132 stitches, I believe. Yeah. And I did a uh, two by two rib for an inch. And then you're supposed to knit um, from the ribbing, seven inches or six inches of stockinette, and then do another inch of ribbing. And voila, you have a cowl. I am interested to see how much it actually takes. I'm hoping that there's maybe a little bit left for my blanket, but uh, we'll just wait and see. Um, I will probably be gifting or donating these, um, or if my kids want them, but I'm going to be making a bunch of them, so, um, yeah. So I think from now on, I'm just going to get value packs of Felici where I get one of each color, unless there's a color that my kids really, really want. Because I think I just want to do shorty socks in Felici from now on. So this is what I got. I don't have a progress keeper on here yet. I probably should do that now. I would love to finish this too. But I just love how that Felici knits up when it's not a sock. They're thinner stripes. Yes. So thank you, Lisa. For showing that pattern to me, recommending it, 
it is not on Ravelry. So I checked, I did not find it. So you have to go to noblenits.com. I don't know. I'll put it down there. It's down there. <laughs> so yeah, this is a very mindless knit. Just knitting around and around. All right. This whip, the last whip, is the one I am like this. No, I think I'm like this close to finishing it. <laughs> I worked on it at some point during the day, on and off during the day. And I'm like, I'll finish it in the evening. Well, I was too tired. I couldn't do it. And then your guys are going to laugh at me. Like, how tired were you? <laughs> but I, this is probably why I haven't, I don't have any finished objects because I've been working on this pretty much all week because I am determined. All right, still on needles, so I need to be gentle. This is, um, my youngest Weasley's sweater. Weasley sweater. Oh, oh my word. So it's got strings everywhere. So see that stitch marker? That is where I was at. So I finished the body. I put the N on it. I did one sleeve. And I did Look at that. All I need is the two by or the one by one cuff for six rounds. That's it. Why could I not finish that last night? <laughs> oh my word. So today I am doing this. Uh, I have to change my needles to US sixes because right now they're on eighths. I have to do six rounds of one by one rib, bind off, weave in the ends and I am gonna soak this today and block it so that it is done tomorrow or next week. This is why I didn't have a lot of sock knitting time because I was oh but look at that in oh. this is the tin can knits flax sweater. Um, this is the eight to ten year old size. And this is for my youngest, Natalie. Um, and the yarn is Wool of the Andes, Celestial. Sorry, my kids are loud again. They are playing, they're playing Mario Kart. <laughs> and it's making them excited. But yeah, so I just have to do this. I just have to do a cuff. Can you believe that? <laughs> but actually it works out good because now I can, um, Weave all the ends in and soak it and block it and it'll look very pretty for next week and it will be a finished object. No doubt in my mind that this will be finished unless um, it takes forever to dry. That's why I want to wash it today. So it usually takes about four or five days to dry and it has been very humid and wet here so I don't know it might take longer. Um, the only thing I did not do was the, there's like a, it's a garter ridge on the sleeves. I did not do that. I just did stuck in it. I like just a plain classic sweater. So now I need to get my sweater out. I did a tin can flex for me. Probably like two years ago. I did not block it. I did not wash it. I wore it like twice. Um, I'm going to get it out. I'm going to put an L on it, and I'm going to wash it and block it before Christmas. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, look at this. It's beautiful. I have to say, the N was a lot easier to duplicate stitch on than the C was, probably just because it was more straight. So I think I, went, I started here and went up. And then I went this way, and then I went up. So the L should be really easy. <laughs> and um, this is Wool of the Andes. Oh, I don't know what it is. It's white, and it's got sparkles in it. Um, 
you probably can't tell. But there is a sparklies in there. I don't know what the colorway is called. I'm sure they still have it. So, yes. Almost done. Finish that cuff. Leave in the ends. Soak it. Lock it. That is getting done today. Can't believe that I couldn't finish six rows. Oh my. <laughs> Whatever. All right, that is all my finished objects. That is it. Do I have the tag for the yarn? I know I've showed it a few times, but we'll show it again because it's probably the last time. Wool the Andes. Celestial from Knit Picks. And that's a worsted weight. All right. Sip of coffee. We'll go into my stash. The stash that I, and then we'll talk about a little bit more about stash. <sighs> I did it. I know I've been talking about this. I have missed my row one minis. So I signed up again. They're still in the plastic. I'll probably take them out now and stick them in this bag. So here they are. And this time I got Birch Dye Works. Look at that neon yellow. It's badass. These ones are different. It's like a navy and then a lighter blue. They are different. There's pink in there. I really like that orange one. And that one. So yeah, I signed up for row one minis. Guess I don't have to stick them back in this bag. So I'm gonna take them out. Too many crinkling. So that is a subscription. You get it once a month. You get ten. Gram minis pre wound, they're all labeled for you. You get a little paper with the dyer's uh, information on it. So, if you want to go to their shop and there's a color you like, they might have it in stock if you want a full skein of it. And it's a mystery. I think that's it. I really like it, and it's probably the only thing I'm going to be able to be signed up for for a long time. My husband said I have been buying too much yarn, so I am uh, on a yarn band, I guess. He told me, you're, you're buying too much yarn, you need to stop. And so it makes me sad. Whatever. So, no more, no more yarn buying for a while. I'm still gonna save, or I'm still keeping my row one minis. I am not canceling that, I just got it. <laughs> if Nitpicks Fleecy comes in, I'm getting it. But I think that's, I think the new colors come out in June. Maybe May. Pretty sure June or July. So we'll see what colors come available. I don't know if the new ones last round they did a lot of they brought back a lot of old colorways, so if they do that again, maybe I won't get a value pack because I probably won't get because I've been buying Felici for a few years now. So if there's colors that I have not knit, I will get those. Or I will get a value pack. And knit all those shorty socks. And a value pack is gonna be a lot cheaper than buying two balls of each color. So I'll be saving a little bit of money. <laughs> oh, darn it. And then I saw something on Night Owl Fibers. Put some of her Harry Potter colorways on her website. And I'm so mad because I want two of them. And I can't buy them. And I don't, I'm hoping that maybe in the future that she'll bring them back. But, oh, it hurts. <laughs> hurts when somebody tells you not to buy yarn. It's like stabbing me in the heart and twisting and then pulling out. <laughs> so 
So the colors that I wanted was um, Night Bus and Hagrid. Oh, shucks. I mean, yes, I have enough yarn. But I don't know when those colors are going to come back. She doesn't dye those anymore. Okay, we're moving on. I'll live, right? <laughs> Reading and watching. I finished The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna. Oh, my word, guys. You need to go out and read that. That book. It's sad, but she is so good at writing. She, like, puts you in that situation. It's uh, in the 1930s Depression. Just, ah, it's beautiful. You guys get to go read that. Go read it. Go read it. But make sure you have some tissues handy, because the way it ended, I was not expecting that. It was very sad. It's a very sad book, but it was, it was good. Um, I am currently reading Harry Potter number three, which is The Prisoner of Azkaban. That is why I'm knitting these pair of socks, because I'm doing a pair of socks and reading a book. Excuse me. Just a little knit along that I'm doing myself, because I have, there's a lot of Harry Potter yarn in there trying to get through it. And I did decide, I talked last week, if I should do scrappy full-length socks with my advent calendar I bought last year, or shorty socks. And I decided to go with shorty. I will eventually do uh, scrappy socks with those. That yarn is a little more uh, rustic, plumper. I don't think I want shorty socks out of that. I think if I'm going to do shorty socks, they need to be out of 75-25 or 80-20 base for me to wear them in the summertime and spring. Alright, yeah, that's all I'm reading right now. I'm still reading um, The Toll. I have not finished that. I'm like 100 pages in. I, I check my Goodreads. Um, and beginning of the year, or any time during the year, you can punch in how many books you want to read the year and then they'll calculate how many books you are behind or ahead in the year and right now I am nine books behind <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get to my 120 I don't know what the deal is I think I'm reading thicker books anyway I gotta move my legs in the Harry Potter book, I'm doing audio. All right, watching. I don't really have a lot for watching. I've been sitting here, I'm trying to think, what was I watching this week? Did we really only watch Curb Your Enthusiasm? I think we did. There was one night where I watched um, the last episode of The Walking Dead. Oh my. I love that episode. Did you guys, you guys watch Walking Dead? Do you watch that, that episode with Negan? I liked these six episodes, even though they were like filler episodes. They just gave more backstories to all the characters. Daryl, Negan. Oh. It's awesome. But that was the last episode, so there is no more until 2022. Probably October 2022. That's usually when they come out. Or when they start. In the past, they have like eight episodes. And then they have like a month break during Christmas time. In January. And then they come back on, in February with the rest of the eight. But I don't know if they're going to have a full season this year. Really? I don't know. We'll just wait and see. Um, I will talk about some movies that I watched in the past, like two weeks or so. I just forgot to mention them. Um, Tenant. I did not like that. I did not like it at all. Probably because that is a movie that you have to sit and watch. You can't 
or have knitting that you don't have to look down very often because I got so confused watching it. It's like I can't I can't just sit and watch TV. I'll fall asleep. Or I'll just be on my phone and I won't be paying attention in either way. <laughs> so I should watch tried to watch it. We got like halfway through it and I'm like I, I'm not going to finish this. this is, I don't understand. I don't know what's going on. I'm totally lost. So the next day was um we watched on a Sunday, so Monday I decided, well, I'm going to try to watch it one more time. And I'm, I'm like awake. This is morning time when I decided to watch it. Let's tuck it in. I got to the place where I remembered what was going on, and then I, I was done. I lost track of what I was doing, knitting away, not paying attention, and I'm like, I'm done. I can't, I can't finish this movie. I have to knit. I have to knit when I watch TV. So I got my husband to tell me what happened in, in the book or in the movie and I said, okay, I didn't miss anything. Whatever. <laughs> the last movie we watched, I really like this one, um, Knives Out. That one was really good. That one I could knit and watch or you know I've been trying to not look at my knitting as much but I still have to look down every once in a while but that was okay to knit during that one and that one was very good have you guys seen that one it's kind of like a murder mystery yes it's very good and that's it for reading and watching that's it. I'm pretty sure I'll finish Harry Potter in, at some point this week because I think I have like six hours left. And then I will uh, find something else to read. My coffee's almost gone. All right. Um, life stuff. Oh my. It's, it's not been a good week. I will tell you that Michigan, I'm sure if you've been on the news, uh, Michigan is not doing so hot with the virus. People are, uh, what do you want to call it? Done with it? <laughs> um, going out? Not wearing a mask I don't know I don't go out very often so I don't know how many people are not wearing masks I know when I get groceries there are a few people whose are sticking out or it's on their chin um, yeah but I usually go out like early early morning like I get groceries like at 7 30 because I want to beat the crowd so usually those people they're, everybody's wearing a mask. It's not like middle of the afternoon. There's probably a lot of people that aren't wearing their masks, I would assume. I don't know. I get it. I don't like wearing them either, but we need to, we need to keep wearing them. I am so glad that I decided, or my husband and I decided to keep my kids home from school because... Pretty sure once they, I think they started going back to school or reopened the school was in March, March 1st. And it's been a month and cases are spiking up everywhere. So yeah, it's, it's all right. It'll be okay. Um, the weather has been really nice. It's felt like summer around here. It's been around, like, there was a couple days where I got to 80. What's going on? 80 in April? <laughs> I think it was 75 yesterday. Today, it's like 57, so it's like, alright, we're back to normal. 
like low 60s, high 50s. That's usually where the temp should be this time of year. Um, yeah. Already at 40 minutes. I don't think I have much else to talk about. My plans. My knitting plans. Finish that sweater. Block it. Weave in the ends. That is happening today. And then I'm going to work on my scrappy socks because it's Scrappy Sunday. And I would like to finish those uh, Knit Picks fleecy socks. It would be really, really awesome if I can finish the mustache yarn and scrappy sock. And the scrappy socks and the Felici socks? Is that possible? I don't know. It might be. <laughs> so I will have at least one pair of socks done. Possibly three. Since they're shorties, those go by fast. All right, my coffee's gone. I will end it here. Thank you for watching, like, and subscribe. If you have a question or comment, put them right down there. My foot fell asleep. <laughs> um, I am planning on doing a giveaway on episode 100. So I need to gather some things for that. And I will probably be doing it on Ravelry because that's just easier for me to get a hold of people. So then I can just email them on Ravelry and they'll usually get back to me. YouTube is kind of weird like that. So that is the plan. I have a bag. Um, I'll probably look at my stash and see if there's something that doesn't meet my fancy anymore. I don't know. Might see. <laughs> so that is coming up. I said this is episode 96, so probably the end of May. And we'll see. I might leave it open for a while because I don't really want to go to the post office. <laughs> Unless things start to get a little better. So, yeah. I might give people like a month to sign up. And that'll give me a little more time to get the prize together. I need to do that. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. And hopefully I will see you next week. Bye.